Morning. Matt here, uh, Core Ice Owners. Uh, hey, winter's coming up. Uh, game Fair is also coming up here in Minnesota. Last year, I bought some rattle wheels, uh, Northern Lights rattle wheels. I didn't use them. I have no affiliation with them, but I think it's a pretty good product. Um, of course, they've got their regular bell we're all used to. The sound. Uh, it's got that, and also these illuminate, which I'm not going to show today, but uh, I'll get into this winter. Uh, today, what I was trying to do is coming out to uh, see if I could, how I could mount them. Um, and what I found in the box was that little wedge right there. If you're not familiar with that little wedge, you're going to be. And also this hook. Um, it did not occur to me that catch cover was involved or that these are made to to go with catch cover product and you put them together that's how what they look like and I've already got numerous catch cover little pucks I've, I've made so that's the receiver female part right there on the back it's got a little eagle clip Mark Harmon's showing a little bit about that in his videos I've got a ton of stuff uh, hung in my ice house using them a little piece of uh, PVC board Tricky to cut, but not too bad. Anyway, when you get them together, the mount for for that Northern Lights rattle wheel goes right in. Easy peasy, nothing nothing too crazy there. Hangs on the rail. Pretty pretty slick now you're gonna have to use a power source uh, a battery it comes with a battery pack or you can just go right to one of those power supply boxes which is what I'll do but they're so bright you won't need a light in your core ice house uh, or any other ice house at night when they start rattling uh, if, the, if the sounds not enough for sure the light will be um, so there you go uh, one more thing uh, for you again I'm not affiliated with catch cover or northern lights rattle wheels or uh, or anybody else except for this core eyes house page so there you go have a good day